13 and 2 all time in games played here in Cincinnati. After the play fake, it's a screen to Joe Mixon, showing his patience a la Le'Veon Bell. And now he's slow to get up at the 30-yard line. Well, that was a big collision. Vince Williams and Mixon. There was a timeout on the field as they take a look at Joe Mixon. Garcia. And that is caught over the middle, and then the ball is loose, but it's whistled dead. Ike Hilliard made the catch, and he is flat out at the five-yard line. He took a shot. The ball came out. The whistle blew. And right now, Ike Hilliard not moving down on the five-yard line. Ooh. Leroy Hill got him from the front, number 56, and Tatupa was the coverage man from the back. And I certainly want to say that, number one, let's talk about Ike Hilliard, but that also could end up being a fumble play because that ball was coming out yep. on contact. Now they can't allow the touchdown for running it back but they could give the Seahawks the football right there. On the 26, he'll get a shot at it. Whoa! Oh. Helmets out, balls out. Oh my. And Josh Cribbs is probably out. Morgan Cox made the tackle. And let's hope that Cribs is okay. Morgan Cox is the long snapper, 46. The second hit that comes in, though, is the one that knocks the helmet off from the right-hand side. Cox was the primary. Now watch from the left here. That's Ellerby, 59. That's the hit that got him. And remember, folks, and you're, I know everybody's saying forearm to the helmet. He's not a defenseless player. He's a punt returner with the ball in his hands. This is not a defenseless player situation all we really care about right now is his health and both teams are out there and worried about it ribs one of the better return men in the league and as you can see both teams huddled around the fallen Cleveland Brown and mock the center is really a good one here's a hand up they go the other way look at you <laughs> Doug Plank hits him, but you pay when you hit the Earl. This time, Campbell's a little slow getting up. Burn right, he's hurt. Tell you, Motown's made a fine block hit. Fisher helped him. Campbell's had three holes at the point of attack. Well, this is such a good lesson for all you young running backs. This is something that Earl very seldom is caught doing. He leaves the air, leaves the ground, goes over Motown's. When your legs are in the air, you have no control of your situation. He got hit right on the thigh. His knee turned a little bit. Phillip Rivers and the Chargers sputtering on their first two possessions. Tolbert, oh, he lost it. Loose. Picked up by the Bengals, Roy Williams. And Mike Tolbert got crushed, and he's lying face down at the 20. Wow, he is out. Watch the collision that comes up. Takes a hard hit. From Dahani Jones, the ball squirts forward. Mike Tober being helped to a stretcher. And you can see, I mean, it's not just the Chargers players that are standing around. It's also the Bengals players and also the Bengals staff is also part of the process of getting him of him getting him off the uh, the field. And this is precautionary. And then that looks bad, but believe me, if there's any doubt, they will put every player into that situation. You see him giving the thumbs up there. 50% first down. Reverse to Jefferson. Jefferson speed gets it down and he fumbles again, but it goes out of bounds. He's rolled down and he may be rolled out. He hasn't moved. He was smothered. What a hit on Sean Jefferson wow. by Zach Thomas. 
You could understand why he would fumble that time. Yeah, I that yeah, hit. But I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you something. I mean, if you're gonna run a reverse, why? Why this guy? I mean, he's fumbled twice, and now he's fumbled for the third time. I know the hit is there by Zach Thomas, number 54. Here comes the hit. Oh, I mean, that's shoulder to shoulder. He goes down, the ball comes out. That is a fumble. He's out on the way down. It looks like Sean Jefferson on the way down has already been. Oh, it's yeah, helmet to helmet right there. Left hand reaching uh, for the attendant. That's in a way, in his own way, as a signal for his family at home to know that he's got, you know, strength in that arm and that it isn't serious. That's uh, perhaps his way of communicating to his loved ones uh, watching. All the coaches were his receivers. Boy, I know they were covered. Great young talent. Defensive coordinator has been with this franchise for 12 years. As Manning has Kelly, and the ball's out. Holly took a vicious hit. He's still down, hasn't moved. Holly is just absolutely frozen on the field. It was a collision with Coleman and Hansen. Flag was thrown, so. Hmm. It was almost like he still thought he was going to throw four touchdowns and win the game. And I think that mentality, uh-oh, here yeah, we go. Wide open. And that's John Ryan. And I mean, the red sheet part of it. Oh, and he almost lost the ball. Lose and it. he does lose it. And he goes down, and he might be hurt as well. So a trick play, he kept it. I mean, I've never seen a, a bigger gap. But all of a sudden, at the end of the play, they may have lost their punter as well as the football. Oh my gosh, the ball just fell out of his hands, and as he went to reach for it, he took a huge shot. I think it was Troy Hill that came over with the hit. Just falls out and then just buries him down into the ground. They want to grow up to be Cowboys. White will throw on first down. And goes to Drew Pearson, and Pearson is rocked by Doug Plank. You see, he's led to the outside. He has a step here, but Doug Plank is outside. Now watch him as he stretches. You see that position there that he's in? He's completely exposed. He didn't feel it nor see it coming, and he had no protection at all. They cut Alex Green. Now Eddie Lacy is out with a concussion today, and the job is once again Starks. He goes down the sideline, picks up the first down. Redskins is down along the sideline. That's Merriweather. He's the one that hit Eddie Lacy, and now he can't get up. After this hit that he delivered to James Stark. Second time he's led with his helmet, and that's what they're trying to take out of the game. This time he's the one who's injured, and it looks like his season's going to be over again. Backing off the blitz, giving McCarron time. Goes underneath, and he is smashed. Shazier lays out Bernard, and Shazier comes up with the football. Whistles. Shazier takes it all the way to the goal line, but they have whistled the play dead. And meanwhile, Bernard has barely moved. He launched himself, used the top of his helmet. But Bernard has caught the ball, turned, so that's why no flag was thrown, probably. He caught it, was turning, turning into a runner. Jim, watch him as he turns. He's caught it. Uh-oh. On second and five, plenty of time for Dalton. They're short of the first down on the catch by the rookie. Josh Malone, fourth round pick out of Tennessee, and Ryan Shazier, the leader of this Pittsburgh defense, is not getting up. It's a shallow cross. You're going to see Shazier, the middle linebacker, break on the ball and went in there with his head down, and that's never a good thing.
and as they tend to Ryan Shazier will step aside. No score early in the first quarter. Not that he was ever in danger. Here's Emmett Smith again. And Emmett flashes into the secondary. The ball loose and Emmett grabs his head. Talance Sawyer comes up with it. 